This was an incredibly rich estuary when Europeans first came here. 2,500 acres of tidal wetland. Uh, at the turn of the last century, they were taking four million pounds of shad out of this river. Ocean-going ships came all the way up here to Bladensburg. They managed to get up here, and they picked up tobacco, they dropped off slaves, they picked up fish, got ship repairs done here. Again, this port was bigger than Baltimore in early colonial time. This is the entrance to Kenilworth uh, Marsh, and uh, at this tide I can get this boat back in here. Um, this was originally a, uh, one of our largest uh, marshes, and it was converted to a water flower farm uh, about 100, just over 100 years ago. And now the Park Service owns it today, and they still maintain it as a flower farm. They have beautiful uh, festival here in July that everybody should come to. It's just stunningly beautiful. Lotus and water lilies, absolutely spectacular. I think it's really important for people to know that this is a long-term commitment. This, this, isn't, this hasn't happened and isn't going to get done overnight. At some point we're going to be able to declare victory on some of these things, like when they finish the, you know, the consent decree with WSSC or something. But this is going to be a long-term issue that's out there and it's going to impact other things that we do as, as a society. I just want it to be on the table and I want it to be part of it because I want to leave a legacy for our kids. It's not about us anymore, it's about our kids. What are we going to leave our kids and their kids? What kind of problems and expense are we leaving them? Uh, we need to take that into the equation and I think a lot of the governments frankly are starting to do that with their sustainability plans. So I think that this plays well into sustainability and understanding long term. Where's our water going to come from in 100 years? How clean is that river going to be in 100 years? What about 200 years? I mean, we're not thinking in those terms. We're thinking this quarter, this quarter, what's the return on investment? What have you done for me now? We need to think long term for our kids. We have bald eagles back. I got a report from uh, a guy who does uh, uh, paddling on the river a lot. Uh, that he saw a peregrine falcon under one of the bridges here. I, I can't confirm that, but we certainly have a lot of uh, herons, egrets, osprey, kingfisher. It's just beautiful though. I mean, look, you're looking up the river. You could be on the Shenandoah or the Amazon or something, but you're in the heart of Washington, D.C., dude. I mean, it's unbelievable. 